Hello, today I want to share with you how to add an assignment using Microsoft Office 365 directly into Canvas. The embedding documents in this fashion allows our students to edit the documents directly um, on the cloud and that way there's no need for them to download and then upload, take pictures, print, everything's edited here using the Canvas platform. So I've already um, created assignment called test. I'm gonna click on that. Now, I just wanna click edit so I can show you the settings you'll need to adjust. So just like any other assignment, you might add your directions or files you want your students to view prior to um, the submission of the assignment. But the part I really wanna share with you are the options associated with the assignment. First, you're gonna choose what kind of grade it's going to be. Is it an assignment, a major, or a minor? I'm gonna keep mine as an assignment. Then you're gonna choose how you're gonna grade it. I'm gonna choose complete or incomplete. Now, the important part is the submission type. We're gonna choose that drop down and be careful to choose an external tool. This allows us to link directly to the cloud with Microsoft Office. So I'm gonna put my thing here where the keychain is. It brings up some of the files I've already loaded, or you can hit find and you'll come down to the button where it says Office 365 Cloud Assignment. Now I'm gonna look in my drive for an assignment I'd like to upload. I know I've attached a PowerPoint that I'm hoping that my students can make modifications and do a word search directly in. So I'm gonna click that assignment here in that box and then click attach a file. And then I just hit select again. Now I can see that my file is in that location. Just make sure before you make the rest of your adjustments and then hit save. Now you'll notice as students have ac access to the drive, they're going to have um, the file show up directly in their Canvas platform. As you notice here, you can see this is where the location is. But if the students wanted to view, edit, or print, they can do all of those things. But we're gonna focus on what it looks like to edit today. So you just click edit. Now be careful to choose edit in browser. That allows them to link directly to their cloud. That way they can hit submit assignment. Now remember, I'm not in student view, so it's not gonna look exactly the same. So once they make those adjustments right here in that browser, um, they would just click submit assignment and then all of the corrections are made to the teacher. So they would use the draw button to um, circle their answers here. And that way they could submit assignment and it would be finished.